Okay, I'm so, so excited for our very first Brief Talk Tuesday. And mm -hmm. um, this is my colleague, Helen Paquette. Helen, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm a holistic nutrition practitioner here in Nova Scotia. Um, and Melissa and I met, which I think is so cute. We actually <laughs> met because somehow we connected about a website like probably three, four years ago. Yes. And then we just, ever since then, have never stopped talking. <laughs> yeah, we just clicked, right? We, yes. both, we both studied at the same um, holistic nutrition school. Yeah. So yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So this is my long distance uh, colleague slash friend that we've actually never even met in person before, but feel like we've known each other forever. It's true. Yeah. I feel like you've always just been in my life. It's really wild. So cool. Yeah. So today right. we're going to chat about immune. Yeah. Yeah. And so that right now there's so many things going around already that I'm finding that it's the change of season, the change of routine, everybody is getting back to school. So if your kiddos are starting to feel a little under the weather, it's likely due to not enough sleep and all of the other factors that play when we get back to school. Absolutely. And I feel like it's just that time of the year, right? Different and seasons different toxins, different air quality, different, 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 right? Right. A hundred percent. I totally agree. And then you add in stress and that el like elevates and suppresses the immune system a little bit as well. Um, more sugar. I find mm -hmm. that this time of year, the kiddos always want those little sweet treats in their lunches, um, which, you know, and then all of a sudden we have Halloween coming up, which is more sugar and that suppresses the immune system so much too. So it's really such a vast topic, but because mm -hmm. we want to keep it brief, we're going to just touch on some of these things. Yeah, no, for sure. And I just want to, I just want to talk for a second, just about stress um, because so many people don't realize the effect of stress. And I'm sure you would agree that you've heard people or seen people roll their eyes when you know, people have said, Oh, I don't feel good. It's probably because it's stress. There's so much truth in that. And, and a lot of times it's because when our bodies are stressed, we can't flush the toxins properly and we, the body can't repair itself as it would. We have a greater call for vitamins and minerals. Um, you know, because our body needs more, uh, and we also use them so much quicker too, right? Right. You utilize them. More. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, the other thing too, I think that's important is that it, the stress raises cortisol and insulin levels, right? Which can really compromise your immune. Oh my goodness. And that is like my life right now. Um, the whole stress and cortisol and um, insulin and blood glucose is insane. And that always has an effect on your immune system too. A hundred percent. Yes. I agree. And what can we do to mitigate the stress? That's the hardest thing, don't you think? Yeah, no, for sure. There's and they're feeling but I do feel like there's so many different things um, that we can do that, um, that that people tend to kind of overlook, right? Yeah. So, you know, making sure that we're sleeping and getting the proper amount of sleep. Sleep impacts so many different areas of the body you know and with the without the proper amount of sleep the body is is stressed in itself yeah a hundred percent and we need exactly we need that homeostasis that balance and i find that a lot of times sleep is the first thing that we'll put off it's like mm -hmm. the least prior to prioritize thing for most people because their to-do list is so big that they decide that they'll just, you know, sleep later. But really yep. the sleep is the biggest thing because that's when our body heals and repairs and it does all of the autophagy it needs to do, cleans up our brain, it regulates our hunger hormones, it regulates all of our hormones. Like it's a biggie. So, mm -hmm. and we also need um, to understand that there's the connection between our immune system and our sleep. So if you're not sleeping well, your immune system is not being able to function properly either. So it's a big right. one. And I feel yeah. like sleep is one of those things that is easily addressed. Like, I, you know, mm -hmm. I know people struggle sometimes with, you know, um, insomnia and different things, but sleep is one of those things that we can prioritize and create a good, healthy, um, sleep hygiene 
routine. Like a routine, I guess. Yes, yeah. I agree. Um, I'm on I'm on the spectrum right now, and and any ladies that are watching with us, I am dealing with perimenopause, and so I actually work with a lot of my clients are hormone related, weight loss, that kind of a thing. And I'll tell you, I have a really good sleep routine, but I still struggle some nights to sleep. And it's all due to my hormones and the fluctuation. So finding your sweet spot and the things that will work will really help. There is actually one thing and not to like, um, I always think that we can fix things in our environment first. I really think that's most important, like turning off your screens, um, making sure you're um, maybe taking some magnesium is really great or having an Epsom salts bath, really tuning into that um, nighttime routine. But there's also like adaptogens we can take as well. I've been doing a replenish tea through uh, the Trinot company that I absolutely love. And it actually is helping me get into better sleep. I just got to learn to stay asleep. So that's my <laughs> issue. Yeah. And I mean, I can totally relate to sleep too. Um, as many of my followers know, I have a child with type one. I know she is much older, but she still sleeps through low blood sugars and she still sleeps through alarms. Mm. It can be quite scary at times. And so I still will wake up and have a look at what's going on with her glucose levels and whether or not I need to intervene. Um, but then it becomes an issue for my own sleep. So I have struggles. And when you're awake, I'm sure people will relate. Sometimes when you wake up, <clears throat> you have a harder time falling back to sleep or you, yeah. you know, you're know, you waking up exhausted um, in the morning, yeah. right? So I can totally, yeah. re totally relate to that as well. Something yeah. I want to add that people don't tend to think about is that, um, so you had mentioned like screens and things too, right? When it comes to sleep. And so yes, turning off screens a couple hours before bedtime, but I just suggested to, I had a, we'll say, very young adult slash teen, um, right at that borderline, you know, young adult, teenager type thing. And yeah. <clears throat> they were very much addicted to their screens. And they were very open and honest about that, which I think is amazing. And so some of the things that I had suggested was very scary for this individual, because there was struggles around that. Mm -hmm. And so something as simple as getting yourself a good pair of blue light glasses, right? Oh, that, yeah. yeah, it really will help. Is it, you know, is it going to be a hundred percent effective? Maybe not, but at least there's going to be some support there. There's going to be some extra help. And the other thing too, is to even change out your light bulbs or get dimmers on your lights so that you yeah. can dim it more so that you're not in the bright light. Cause that will really help with the sleep thing too. Um, mm -hmm. There's so many sleep hacks out there. Yes. We could do a whole talk on sleep hacks. Totally. Like totally. Totally, yeah. totally. But sleep is like, as I said earlier, it is that very connected to your immune health. So it is important that you start prioritizing your sleep and get those kiddos to bed at a decent time because you got to wake them up a lot of times. So then their sleep is a little bit skewed, especially getting back into the routine of school, which is mm -hmm. going to help their little immune systems too mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah um so kind of getting away from the topic of sleep because you're right and we can talk about this like <laughs> a whole maybe that's something we should do if people are interested on you know sleep yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Um, but something that i wanted to bring up is that um of course for people that follow me i follow melissa melissa follows me and so and we share a lot too I and do. so one of the things though that i think is hilarious is that um that melissa actually shared about um fire cider that she had made um yeah. and whether yesterday or day before or whatever it was and this was something that i had done too a couple of years back <laughs> and i i chuckle because there's so many amazing, amazing foods, herbs, different things that you can add to that. So simple to make. Mm -hmm. And on, I had commented on her, on her status or whatever. It tastes awful, <laughs> it tastes awful but it works great. Um, anyway, I thought it was kind of funny because it's true. Yeah, <laughs> but it's I know. This My is whole family takes it. really, that's amazing. I, and I, you know what, I am all about trying to keep costs down, use yeah. what I can that's local and, and utilize my kitchen, right? Get the nutrients and the support we need from mother nature and fire cider 
totally fits the bill. Uh, I had forgotten that you made it a couple years ago, actually. I wonder yeah. if our recipe is the same. Um, I don't know we should sometime. Yeah, we should. It's Mine smells a little bit crazy at the moment, but it, it's just started. So I'll stir it every day. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm assuming it's going to be hot. <laughs> Hence yeah. the name Fire Cider. So. Yeah. Um, I, and, and so when I say my family takes it every day, and you probably can relate to to this, is... Um, we don't take it. Uh, uh, we don't take it every day. It's more something if we feel something's coming on. So sometimes you'll feel like in the nose or throat or whatever, you might feel that something's coming on. So yeah. we might take it two or three times a day. Um, it is very strong. It is, but it's sweet and it's fiery and it's. I think I'll love it. It sounds delicious. Yeah. Uh, it, did yours have apple cider vinegar in there? Yeah, so the base is apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Um, and of course, it has tons of garlic, which is yeah. really important and so helpful for colds and flus, congestions and infections, right? So we got lots of it in there. I've got lots of ginger in it, which is, is a superfood too. As many know, it helps with your immune system, but also with your digestion. Um, and I mean, a million other things, I'm sure, but just trying to keep it um, you know, immune focused right now. It also has turmeric, which in, is another um, really amazing um, herb, spice, whatever you want to call it. Um, it ha yeah, so there's a lot of stuff in there that I think it's going to be a really good immune support. And very warming. So some mm -hmm. of those spices, cinnamon was another one that was in mine. So it was very, very warming um, yeah. to the body, right? So these are two coming into the colder months. Um, it's also something like, you know, we use it to help with cold and flus, but it's something that you could. Oh, I feel like we're losing. Helen is frozen. I hope she unfreezes in a second here. I'll just wait and see if she unfreezes. Oh. There Helen, you were, you were frozen. Oh, I was. I thought it was you. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. My side, you. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what the viewers saw because yeah. my side was you frozen. Maybe, and that'll be interesting. Okay, That's you so were funny. talking about how it's warming. Um, how 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 having the the fire cider is very warming for us this time of year. Yeah, and so it's very, you know, it's it it is very warming. Um, and so I was saying you could totally put it into if you wanted to, and you really loved it, you could put it into water even and make it into a warmer tea, um, yes. or even drink it first thing in the morning. Like there's lemon in there as well, right? Yeah. Um, or yeah. there was. With yeah, mine has lemon as well. I'm I'm suggesting to my followers. I it's up on my blog. I just put it up there just the other day, yesterday. Um, uh, I am finding that one to three tablespoons, maybe I wouldn't, I think personally, I don't know that I would drink a quarter cup of it each day or anything like that. But um, I'm sure there's different opinions on that too. So it'll be interesting to see uh, as it comes about. Um, there's so many different things we can do in the kitchen. Another one that I'm doing this week too for immune support is I'm, I love lemon ginger tea in, you know, if you're starting to feel like you're getting a sore throat, a scratchy throat, you're feeling a little bit under the weather. That is something that I will like grate my ginger and I'll like steep my lemon. I put a little bit of honey in it and I'll have like this warm drink. But what I've done and I'm actually, it's coming out um, as just a very simple recipe. I'm going to have it all in the refrigerator that I can just take a tablespoon that's already lemon ginger and honey it's all kind of minced together and yeah. it's like easier than grating my ginger every morning that i want that right so right think ahead a little bit there's all sorts of hacks that you can have in your home for this time of the year for sure oh i think we're frozen again my goodness oh yeah okay you're there one really fast thing that i wanted to mention to you that i think that within our busy lives this time of year especially one of the things many of us don't stay on top of is hydration. And so when we have, um, you know, any issue going on, a lot of times it's because um, we're not hydrated, right? So, yeah. and hydration, obviously we need as well to keep that immune system running really um, proper and um, 
functioning the way we want it to function, I guess is the best way to put that. So drink your water, people. Yeah. That is and that's going to help flush, right? The lesser, the lesser toxins that the body has, the more your immune system is going to be able to fight and become very strong. Right. right. So I always suggest to people, and I think I feel the same as you do as well, Melissa, is detoxing a few times a year. And I know that we're very, very similar in the, in the ways that we do things. And so when it comes to detoxing, it's so very, very, very gentle. Yes. Um, right. So many people think, you know, they got to do a juice fast for a week or they have to, you know, fast for a few days or your body just needs a little, a little TLC, right? Just that's clean, right. Things. Yes. Yeah. And clean things up and get things yeah. going and really give it a good uh, boost. Well, I think one of the things related to the water that a lot of people don't understand is when you're dehydrated and your hydration isn't up to par, it's putting a lot of extra stress on your organs. Um, yes. I'm like, everything else right so this is something that it's it's free <laughs> right we're, we're very lucky we all have water that we can you know get to um and it's something that you know it's a low-hanging fruit that every single one of us should be able to stay on top of to help support our body and our immune system right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no i would agree with that a hundred percent one of my other one of my favorite things too um, to add and then I've been really talking about lately and for those people who've been following me know because it is something that I have talked about for quite a long time is um, the use of mushrooms right mm -hmm. there's so many different uh, medicinal mushrooms and properties medicinal properties in mushrooms and you can get them you know in a number of different ways so um, you, there's ground, you know, you can get them in a powdered form. Um, they even have, they have them in tinctures now. I like the tinctures because you can, um, mix that, make a, take a few drops, let's say of the cheddar, um, and mix it with a hot cup of water, um, That's a good idea. and make it actually kind of tastes like coffee. And it was, um, a client of mine who is the one who kind of said, Hey, this is what I did and was drinking four or five cups of coffee sometimes before noon. Oh, and wow. they're down to like one and they're drinking the chugga the rest of the morning in this, so like this water. So, so great for, sorry, for great for antioxidants and super great for immune, right? Which is really good. I'm not a mushroom. I don't like mushrooms. So anything that has a weird taste, I can't do. So that's why I really do love the replenish, um, not to like plug that product again, but it tastes like cinnamon. So it's really, and it's got all of the, the good um, mushroom components in it as well. Oh, the tea. Um, the tea. Yeah. The replenish yeah. tea. It's so good. Yeah. But uh, the tincture is a good idea. I like that. I like that. Yeah, so, the tinctures are good. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, I, because we've, you know, our word was 20 minutes and we're at 18 minutes here, I'm thinking maybe we should recap quickly and then tell people where they can find us. And then yeah. we'll be back again next Tuesday with another brief talk um, Tuesday um, with a new topic that will um, let everybody know what it will be in a couple days. Oh. I got frozen again, I think. Oh, I, okay. So, I was just saying, let's do a quick recap of, um, of what we chatted about here for people and then uh, let everybody know where they can follow us and to stay tuned for next week's talk too. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so for those people who, um, who are looking at following or have been following along, or maybe this is something new to people and you're just kind of kind of zooming in now or tuning in now um i am on facebook um i am helen paquette holistic nutrition and wellness is what my business page is called so you can find me there um but many of you would be in my facebook group so if you're not in my group let me know because we can push you over there and i share a bunch of tips and tricks there and talk about different things run challenges melissa how about you um, so I'm Melissa Weatherall and uh, you can find me at melissaweatherall.com um, as well as on Facebook here on my page. Um, I have all sorts of stuff going on too. So it's always fun to gain. I always say knowledge is power. So wherever you can find knowledge, if it resonates with you, then that's definitely where you want to go, right? So finding that's different true. people and different 
things that you find interesting is so, so important. We can also mm -hmm. link our stuff up in the comments for people too. So yeah. That yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then people to can recap tonight. So to recap, sorry to cut you off. We're at 20 minutes. So let's do a quick yeah. recap that we um that we are sticking to our words. So for your immune health, think about how you can mitigate your stress. That was a big one. Get more sleep. What else, Helen? What else did we talk about? Foods and bringing in some of those adaptogens. Um, sometimes we didn't get into a lot of different supplements, but there's some really great supplements there. Mushrooms are great, so you want to bring in some of those um, some of those things that are very high in antioxidants. Yeah, vitamin yeah. C, right? Yeah. Everybody, vitamin C is a real thing, but you want to get the real vitamin C. And actually, uh, again, to to mention another product, one that the kids would even like is the Fortify. It oh, is. Yeah. A powder that Helen and I both and we can hook you up just reach out to one of us yep. um, and uh, it is a vitamin C powder um, it is real vitamin C it's not the junky absorb absorbic acid it's real um, Helen do you have the ingredients there in front of you um, let me just look really quick Okay. But it's so good and it's like a pixie stick if you remember back in the day when we were kids you literally it's a powder i put it right on my tongue and it's delicious and the kids just, would eat it like that yes i need to add to that because i was telling melissa i was mixing mine with water and i didn't love it and she was like you've got to try like a pixie stick and now you guys no kidding i am so addicted it is so 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 good so yeah. this is um this comes from uh, uh, cherries, uh, elderberries, black currants, um, and which are all really, really great for immune and the respiratory tract. And just going back to like, this is cold and flu season, you know, we're hearing lots of those things. So respiratory support and immune support is extremely, extremely important. Um, and this really, when it comes to immune, I mean, there's lots of reasons people need to supplement but right now I do feel like foods and all the things are great, but supplementation during this time is extremely important as well. It's like bridging the gap and it's like a little insurance policy. We, every yeah. single day yeah. in my home, we take deep immune. It's yeah. a tincture by St. Francis, St. Francis herb farm. And every single morning we take it. Yeah. Um, it. It really is vitally important at this time of year, for sure, to stay um, he healthy. I don't know anybody who likes to get sick. It's not fun. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. So, yeah, so we're at 22 minutes, and I just, as I said, trying to keep to our brief talk. Yes. Uh, anything you want to add, Helen? I think that's it, because I do want to keep people, uh, we did make that promise, so I think we yes, need to yeah, speak to minutes. that. Yeah. Um, but we're going to see you guys next week, because we're going to be talking again. And stay tuned, because we're going to choose a topic. If you guys have a topic and you want to put it in the notes or in the comment section, let us know, because it's yeah. something that we can certainly chat about. But um, I love that. otherwise... That's it. And I'm actually going all week about immune immune uh, support. So I have yeah. different things happening. So make sure you check out yeah. uh, that and uh, do what you can. And it all starts at your home. All right, guys. It was really great. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ch okay. Take care. See ya. Bye. Bye.